Hey, and welcome to the official channel of Wondershirt Dr. Phone for exclusive content on the latest technologies and updates in the digital sector. I am Francisco and welcome back to our channel for another great video on iOS 16. So have you come to know about the recent launch of the beta version of iOS 16? Have you already downloaded and installed it? Are you stuck across the beta version and wish to revert back to the appropriate iOS version? In this video, we shall provide you with the simplest and most appropriate techniques to install and download iOS 16. Do make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So for part one, the introduction to iOS 16 beta. Before going into iOS 16 beta version, we would definitely recommend that you understand what it exactly is. So succeeding to successfully install iOS 15 across all Apple devices is going to bring improvements in multiple departments. To improve applications, it seeks to, uh, to design your home app and improve privacy for, for the most part, followed uh, by the colors and the introduction of the fonts and things of the like. What's more for this update, a personalized lock screen iCloud shared photo library and updates across mails and messages are some other prominent transitions that you can find across the iOS 16 beta version. These redesigns will surely change your personalized user experience across iOS devices. You will now be able to create personalized lock screens out of your galleries with better views and animations. It is getting a whole lot greater with iOS 16 and you will also find have notifications redesigned as they will now appear from the bottom of the screen. User experience has been taken to a whole new level in the update of iOS 16. So for part two, some of the risks of installing iOS 16 version are going to be listed right now. Not everything is going to be sunshine and rainbows. We feel it is our responsibility to let you know about the risks that are involved in installing the beta version of iOS 16 on your device. If you're going to take this step, be aware of the risks that we were about to tell you about just now. So issues in terms of performance. You will surely face issues in the performance of your device as there will be a lot of bugs that would hinder its smooth flow. If you're going to install it on your iPhone, do make sure that you're prepared to face the stability issues. Loss of data is another big one. So this is undoubtedly the most common risk of installing the beta version on your iPhone. So keep a backup of all of your data if you wish to avoid issues issues due to this unprecedented risk. Operability of applications is going to be another one. So most applications that you are using on the previous version of iOS may not even work on the beta version as they are not yet supported and available for this version. So these are the risks that you would be running into. So as for part three, we're going to be walking you through how to install iOS 16. So following this, we shall now look into the right way that you can implement iOS 16, the beta version of course, across your iOS device. And before the install, you'll need an iPhone 8 or later to be able to run iOS 16. iOS 16 beta version works with many different types of iOS models, like iPhone 11 Pro, Pro Max, iPhone 10s, and many, many more. However, it is not compatible with iPhone models before the iPhone 8. So some versions like the iPhone SE from 2016, iPhone 7 Plus, 6s, and all of, all of those other phones cannot upgrade to the beta version of iOS 16. And if you're looking forward to having this personalized experience before every other user in the world, you need to follow these steps coming right up. So step number one is going to be, for starters, you need to access the official Apple developer beta download page to access the beta version of iOS 16. Sign in with your Apple ID and then provide the necessary credentials that you need in order to gain access to the platform. Then look for the hamburger icon on the next window and select downloads from the options that appear on the screen. Scroll down to the next page in, in order to find the download access to the iOS 16 beta. Click on the install profile button and confirm the prompt that appears on the screen asking about the installation. You need to redirect across your iPhone settings. So go ahead and, and open your iPhone settings and click on the profile downloaded option. As you proceed on to the next steps, initiate the installation process by clicking on the install button that will appear on the screen. You will then need to restart your iPhone as per the prompt that you receive. So with the iPhone being restarted, open its settings again and find the general settings in the list. 
Following this, locate the software update that button in the next window. And then you're going to find iOS 16 beta version on the next screen and go ahead and select download and install button and then provide your password if required. Click on install across the prompt to, to successfully install iOS 16 on your device. So here are some questions that you might have about this entire procedure. So for example, when is iOS 16 actually coming out? So currently iOS 16 has been released to developer beta testers across WWDC. Uh, this will be accompanied by public beta testing in July of 2022. As per reports, it is said that the official iOS 16 upgrade will come by the end of September of 2022. Another thing could be, does the iOS beta damage your device? There were some mixed reviews involving installing the iOS beta version on your device. Many common issues and concerns can be raised across your device, which may hinder its performance and other features. Thus, to avoid any major issues, it is always best to keep a backup of, of your data. And is it really safe to use an iOS beta version? Yes, it is safe to some extent. However, we prefer that you should keep a backup version of your data as a precaution. And what could happen if I remove the iOS beta profile? If an iOS user with an Apple developer beta testing profile removes it, they will get excluded from the program. The user would not stop getting automatic updates to remove the beta software-centric glitches. And we hope that you have learned a lot of things about iOS 16 beta because there's definitely a lot of information here. And if you already downloaded and installed iOS 16, please share your own experience in the comments below. And if you have any, any issues when you use iOS 16, then don't hesitate to let us know in the comments and you can also download our own software one to share doctor phone for some assistance in that regard and if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button leave some comments down below with your thoughts and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exclusive content just like this so until next time have a good one